so welcome. If you have found your quiet space, you're invited to close your eyes and take a couple of deep, slow, even breaths. Starting from deep down into your abdomen for about seven seconds and holding it for another few seconds. And as you exhale, relax the body, the thoughts, sensations, anything that feels tense or like it shouldn't be there. And again, a slow, deep, even breath in and holding it. And as you exhale, relax and release. Now, with the mind and body relaxed, listen gently with your heart from your soul. My peace I give unto thee. There is only one my. There is only one peace. We are giving to ourselves, not as a person, but as presence, as infinite omnipresence itself. Yes, we are being called because grace has bestowed upon us the truth to look directly at this or any other quote unquote crisis and see the face of God because that is what is really here. We are being asked to transcend, to transmute, to translate, to transition as a humanity. We are being called to let go of our old ways of thinking, feeling, and doing. Whatever that means for us, no matter how high in consciousness we think we are, we must step up. And being true to our highest revelation, act. We are involving, so to speak, into a new species. The Christ child is being born through us, and these are our labor pains. Maintaining the allness and onlyness of the perfection of life as spirit, not matter, is about not accepting the lie. It is impossible for both spirit and matter to coexist. And so we must choose, and choose again, and choose again, until it is embedded in our consciousness. We are the ones who cannot afford to be spiritually complacent or to spiritually bypass. Therefore, we must not buy what world mind is trying so desperately to sell us using our trusted authorities and even some of our spiritual, quote-unquote, teachers to test us, to tempt us into straying, into not being steadfast. An illusion is not real. A dream is not real, except to the dreamer. If God is all, then there is only one power, not two. It's not enough to have trust, to have faith. We have to act on it, saying no, because we know heaven is right here and all is always well. We start by not denying the appearances of the world coming to us as suggestion of contagion, disease, lack, limitation, including our feelings, 
and any emotions that arise. We feel them fully so they can be allowed to pass through while recognizing them for what they are. Accumulated thought and concept accepted. Be not afraid, it is I. Right where the illusion of disease, lack, and limitation seems to be is the reality of wholeness, abundance, and infinity. Behind the media, behind the government, the scientific community, the medical industry, the educators, the I, in the midst of you, is always there invisibly, permanently, protecting and sustaining. But only as we are consciously aware of it. It speaks as light, its own language. It speaks to the heart as the one heart. This is what has been missing, the awareness of our true identity, the missing piece that not enough of us are talking about. And it is recognized through the silence of the false identity, a separate me that would do anything of itself. Only infinite intelligence can govern a universe. So we let this thing that we have so many names for, but that can never be named, use us. We go into our closet, shutting out the world. And after establishing our oneness and our everywhereness with our Father, our Source, and all form and life everywhere, we come out. It's all about our perception. Even if every voice we hear is believing and proclaiming the lie, we must stand in the truth, for we are always cause, and we are always at zero point. The words we choose to use to describe what's happening in the world, whether spoken or thought, has a direct impact on how we experience what's happening in that world. We can choose to call this, quote, crisis an opportunity, an opportunity to slow down, to tune in, and to be here, which is everywhere, now. Present, with a deeper awareness of what really matters. To really tilt this paradigm shift, living more fully, more consciously than ever before in the higher dimensions of love, appreciation, compassion, gratitude, oneness, and unity. Where we see one self, our perfect one self, as it truly is. Where we recognize ourself, behind every single form, seeing through the nothingness of the veils and masks and now as the turbulence of the mind is abating we can see and remember so clearly how we put them there. The truth has been right here all along we were just blinded by our false identification, the ignorance and prejudice of the senses. But now that we know, the secrets are being revealed. One is that we must do this with everything and everyone, with no exception. Even the most vile and evil appearance is still only a mirage. The fear of that darkness will dissolve as our love shines with radiant understanding. Another secret is in our surrender. As the infinite 
to the infinite, letting it work its magic and its miracles. What I see has come through me. So the more that each of us chooses to see the good in every situation, the more our visible experience will reflect it. There is a critical mass, a tipping point, that can be achieved when awake souls with intention and focus regularly come together in meditation. In the Bible, it's ten righteous men can save a city. In quantum physics, it's called a coherent field of consciousness. Relative truths, yes, but ones that may be helpful to know. Now, allowing the words to all fall away, let us be still in the silence that holds it all. <laughs> 